name is a word by which a person or thing is known. When I was born, my kuya urged my parents to give me a Pākehā name. She was taught from a young age that an ingoa Māori came with more baggage. She wanted to lighten my load. So Rosa was the middle name I was given. It was the name I handed to servers. It was easier to hold. As if I had something to be ashamed of. As if the richness of this reo was too much. My first name is Korunko, a flowering plant. Ka whakatipuai, ka puawai, aiding and healing. He rongoa, ka ai te urua, meaning seeping into my soul, Korumiko. It wraps around my being, grounding me. Papatuanuku tending to my roots, sunken into the whenua. In Māori, whenua means land, it means placenta, life and death. We are born from it, in death we return. Korumiko grows from oranga and mate, unravelling at my fingertips. Rehua with fetu, dancing along his skin, I gaze up at him. See if he left something written up there that would show me how to be kinder to myself. Conjure up a medicine for all the broken people I encounter. Repair some of the pain they've been put through, koromiko. To all the people I've had to correct or ignore, ko koromiko aho. I am done trying to remedy your laziness. Letting my name fall off of your tongue, these healing hands were not made for that. They were made to speak life into those who came before me. My kuya was taught that in ingoa Māori it could mamai. Their bearers cursed with stereotypes. Judgments made from the moment they introduced themselves, ke te karanga aturato, a cry coming from generations of colonial trauma, the result of lazy mouths who forced their way to our table, eating up every piece of our language, a hurea, whakapapa, till they were fat with greed still left on their taste buds, till we were nothing more than the scraps we're trying to piece back together, forced us to tuck and tie our tongue with, with their silent vows and letters, I was tiptoeing around their lack of understanding, spelling out to them what should be known. What we should have never lost. A tangi hunger is held within each cry, having to mourn a world lost and adjust to one forced upon them. Nga whakatipuranga o muri, ka muri muri aroha. So when I have kids, I'll make sure to give them names that could wake maunga from their sleep. Yeah. Names that Rehua would name his stars after. Names that would make my kuya weep. Not out of sadness, but out of pride. Ka puho kere rua na rato koromiko. I know this name echoes her strength, the strength of my tupuna. Maybe I was given this name to break the generational trauma, heal it, tend to it like papa, reach up to Rangituare where Rehua resides and gain all of the stars and kindness and healing he possesses. Korumiko. I'll carry all the baggage that comes with it. I'll create a world where my mokopuna never feel like they have to tiptoe. I'll hand service something powerful, a name embedded in the whenua I walk upon and carry with me. A name that echoes in the car carries with me. A name that holds mamai and whakapapa. A name that echoes their sacrifice. A name is a word by which person or thing is known. Noreda, kia ora, kokoromiko, tōkuni